up here tonight. Um, just found a campsite. Going to do an overnight camping uh, trip. Just at Gulf Point State Park in northwest Iowa. Just car camping, nothing too extreme, but um, I'm going to get a fire going here quick. Get my shelter set up. Go pay for my spot, and then I'll... We'll discuss, you know, what we're testing out here tonight. The lighter. I'm done messing around. I tried. I failed. Okay guys, we just paid for our campsite, so we are here all night. Right here, this awesome little bag. Got my Chef Master, little butane stove all rocking and rolling, getting hotter than hot. My cheap five dollar and some cents Walmart frying pan. But in the bag we got some jalapeno cheddar sausages. We got some jalapenos in here, green and red bell peppers, and some onions. So, got some spray olive oil, which coat this down good. I got a whole nother bag of this. I split it up into two separate meals, but I think we'll probably just cook two separate times. Get everything nice and cooked here. Um, get myself a nice full stomach before I go to sleep, which honestly will be in a couple hours. So. Look at that, mmm, sizzling up. That's gonna be good to go tonight. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. So, get this cooked up and bring you guys back when it's finished. As you can see, I got my fire going yet, but I will tell you it's taken a lot of attention to keep that thing going. I'm really hoping to have a nice bed of coals there so I can just throw a log on when I'm sleeping and let it just smolder to get a little heat, you know, coming off of that. Um, I was going to show you my meal, but I ate the first one and actually I'm not all that hungry for the second one right now. So we're going to sit here and just relax and enjoy the fire and see what the night brings but as of right now so far a good night um temperature wise yeah just below 40 i would say so uh, i'm not too sure how i am on this cold weather camping it's i don't know it's okay Actually, it's not so much the weather, the temp, as much as it is uh, the solo camping. I like having somebody around to talk to and stuff like that. Makes the time go by faster. But <clears throat> So yeah, I don't know um, if I'll try to do more of these or if this will be my last one. I paid for the night, so I'm definitely going to stay. But... 
yeah, I don't know, I got this whole campground to myself, there ain't a single person in this whole campground, which, it's November 15th, so, that's to be expected. <clears throat> but I think it'd be different if my fire would just burn the way it normally does when I'm camping in the summertime and whatnot, but <clears throat> it's taken a lot of attention and a lot of small stuff to, to keep that going. And it's pretty dry out. So, I don't know, but supper was good, enjoying uh, an adult beverage right now, and thinking about cleaning up and going into the sleeping bag, but it's kind of early, that's really early right now, so, oh, we'll bring you back if anything else exciting happens, so, talk to you later. So, all I'm using are... These UST uh, survival blanket slash tarp 2.0. I got one here just in a lean to fashion tied off to a couple trees. And one on the ground is my ground sheet. I am using my climate um, sleep pad. It's insulated. It's it's 30 inches wide. I really like that. It's our value of 5.0. And I'm rocking, I got a poncho liner here, and then I got this uh, big heavy sleeping bag here, and then my Marchway pillow and my Teton Sports sit pad to raise my pillow up a little bit. So pretty open to everything. Like I said, it's going to be a nice peaceful night right next to the fire. So that's always a, a wonderful deal, but I'm um, supposed to get down to 32 tonight. And I'm thinking with this reflectiveness, I'm really hoping actually in my sleeping bag and this poncho liner, I should be uh, plenty warm. Well, as you can see, my fire is barely going. Um, I've been laying in, in my sleeping bag under that, under everything and on my sleep pad for the last 30 minutes, maybe 45 and I've noticed uh, I've been losing, I've been getting cold on my backside. So it's a little after 8 o'clock right now. Um, I've made the conclusion that I am going to pack up and go home. Because I'm not going to stay here and be cold all night. It's, it's not worth it. I've learned things that I can take away. Obviously, when the ground is cold like it is now that that 5r value is not going to work very well so my, my shelter's packed up um i will be making a video out of this obviously because you're going to be watching it hopefully you'll be watching it but uh any any tricks i know the warm water bottle would have helped me stay warm but um i was really hoping that the heat for my fire would have reflected off of those uh, UST tarps and would have, you know, kept me warm. And I was warm. The top side of me, everything was nice and warm. It was just, I can feel, I could feel it on my hip area, the coldness coming from the ground. And only being 8 o'clock at night, I wasn't going to stay out here all night long for no reason and be cold. If I was warm, I would have slept out. I mean, it's beautiful. The stars are out. The moon's peeking up over there. I mean, it is it is very beautiful out. So I'm going to put the fire out and yeah, I'm going to head home. Try it again some other time, but uh, have a little warmer gear with me as far as sleeping bag and sleep pad. I know the sleeping bag won't help with my bottom side, but a sleep pad will and yeah so hope you guys enjoy sorry i didn't make it the whole night but i'm not gonna lie i don't have to be out here so i'm gonna go home if i was warm my sleep pad was gonna be warm enough no problem but within 45 minutes feeling the coldness come through so thank you guys for watching appreciate you who do remember to like comment subscribe um, I'll throw a couple other videos up there.
So if you want to see another attempt at this, let me know. But thank you guys. Have a good night.